Hi guys, I know it's been a long time since I record the Melodic Techno start to finish tutorials. But before I start recording any tutorial, I was thinking about a tutorial that helps you to understand the process behind my production. And the first thing that come to my mind is a harmonic or scales tutorial, which is mean I will help you to understand the music theory in a basic way. Most of the time when you go online and trying to study this, you find this, the secret behind scales, the secret behind chords. Actually, there's no secrets. And I will show you this. But before we'll start, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. Let's start. <laughs> Now, the first thing that I want to start with is octaves. What is octaves? When you sit on the grand piano and see the piano keys, on the grand piano there is 88 keys, which is 7 octaves. Let's see here. This is a piano keys. When you sit on the piano in the middle, we call this the middle octave and we call it the middle C. This is the middle C. When you go up, you start going by C4, C5. When you go down, C2, C1, C0. Each octave got 12 keys. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And you back on and then continue. When you move up, you go to a higher notes, a higher sounds. When you go down, you go for more bassy sounds to create your bass lines and stuff. Okay. Inside Ableton, it's almost the same. You can see here, it's a C3, you go up C4, C5, when you go down C2, so from C to C, it's an octave. Also here, from C to C, it's an octave, from C to the C, it's an octave. So that's all. Same in Ableton, octave 3, octave 4, octave 2. And each octave got 12 keys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Each octave got 12 keys. This is the basic idea behind octaves. Now, moving on and talking about the keys in octaves. Each octave got a 7 white keys and a 5 black keys. Before I understand all this basic music theory I was thinking about okay the white keys are happy the black keys are sad no that was a very big mistake it's not like that at all what's the black keys and what's the white keys actually we call the white keys by it name C D E F G A B and the black keys got two names C sharp or D flat, D sharp or E flat, F sharp or G, f G flat, G sharp or B flat, A sharp or B flat. This sign is sharp and this sign is flat. Why it has two names? Let's say for example this key, D. If you move to the right, we call this sharp. If you move to the back, we call this flat. So, moving from D, to this, it's a D sharp. Moving to the back, it's a D flat. From C to here, it's a C sharp. Moving back, it's a C flat. So C flat is B. As you can see, I write here. And so on. A, A sharp, A flat, or G sharp. And that's it. This is how you understand the concept behind D flat or C sharp. Some of you guys got Ableton push. When you go on scale button on Ableton push, you will see on the screen there is only 
flat. There is no sharp. Actually, there is no difference between sharp or flat. But inside Ableton, when you try to click on any key, let's say F, when you move on up, you will see it's a sharp, but nothing written here saying about flat. D just this to memorize it in your head. If you want the flat of G, it's F sharp. You want the sharp of G, it's a G sharp, also we call it A flat. And that's it. Moving up, sharp, moving down, flat. This is the black keys. We talked about the octaves and we talked about the sharp and flat. Now let's move on and talk more about counting these keys, 12 keys. When you move from a C to a C sharp, we call this a half step or a semitone. When we move from C to D, we call this a tone. So let's check this. Now, moving from D to D sharp, semitone. Moving from D to E, it's a tone. So moving from E to F, it's a semitone, not a tone. It's a semitone. Moving from E to F sharp, it's a tone. Because there is no key in between E and F. Okay? Also here, like moving from B to C, it's a semitone. Moving from B to C sharp, it's a tone. Inside Ableton, when you start with a C, leave a key in between and move to the next one. This is a tone from C to D. Moving from C to here to C sharp, it's a semitone. Moving from E to F, semitone, because there is no keys in between. This is how we count semitones and tones. So with this short cut story, octaves got 12 keys. We understand the sharp and flat, and we got the idea behind semitones and tones. I got you this short basic information because we're gonna extend this in a bit. Okay guys, let's go. Now, moving on from octaves to scales. What's the difference between octaves and scales? If we see here, if I played the 12 notes inside the octaves, if you put it down all, in this case, I didn't mention if this a minor or a major till now, because I played the 12. If you played the 12 keys, which is mean everything is open, the options are open. And till now, I didn't say if it's major or minor. So what you understand from this, you will get that each note of this, each key of this 12, can be a major or a minor. So that's mean we have a 12 major scale and a 12 minor scale. The second difference between octave and scale, octave got 12 keys, scale got seven keys. You start from the root key, actually the main key, that you want to decide if it's major or minor and you will end up with the same key octave up it will be the eighth key i will show it to you the question here is how do we find any major scale to find any major scale of the 12 you follow this rule tone tone semitone tone 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 semitone that's why I was teaching you how to count the tones and the semitones. Let's apply this. Let's say, for example, I want C major. Moving from C to D, it's a tone. So 
I want C major, the first thing I will do is go to the C. Move a tone, then tone, semitone, tone, 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 and semitone back to the C. It will be here. Let's see it inside Ableton. As I said, for example, I want C major. Now, moving on, a tone here, another tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. To make sure that your moves were right, you will start with a C and you will end up with a C. C, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. C major got seven notes and the eighth note you will back to the same C but octave up. Let's say I want F sharp major. Same rule, tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. I started with a C sharp, I ended with a C sharp. That's it. With this rule you will find any major scale of the 12. Now, moving on to your favorite scale, minor scale. The rule that will help you to understand how to find any minor scale by following this. Tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. So let's apply this inside Ableton. For example, I want C minor. The first thing you will do is put your note. We call this the root note because I want to find a C minor. So I go to, I put C. Now, tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. I start with the C, I end up with C. That's it. Let's say I want D sharp minor, or I call it E flat minor. Tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone. I started with a D sharp three, I ended with a D sharp four. And that's it. This is how you find any minor scale. So easy. And this is how we find any major scale and any minor scale. And I will show you how this will help you in your production. Okay, guys. Now, moving on from scales to chords. Now, in chords, it's a little bit different story because we have two ways to follow to find the chord the first way i will call it a general idea or a general way that you will follow and the second one how to find the chord inside the scale the difference between two ways is the first one let's say for example you are not thinking about keep uh, stuck yourself inside your uh, um, scale and trying to get to pick up a chords you just want to play chords randomly how we follow this to find any minor chord you click on any root note that you want let's say you want to start with E then you move E is your zero step you move one two three then four five six seven so this is your minor E minor chord zero three seven or let's say we want a G sharp minor chord zero one two three then four five six seven so this is my G sharp minor chord how do I find a major chord? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So zero, four, seven, and so on. So for major chord zero, four, seven, 
for minor chord 0, 3, 7. This is now how to find a chords that are inside the scale. I will tell you why I teach you why you need to understand the 0, 3, 7 and the 0, 4, 7. You will see this in a bit. Let's say, for example, that I have here a minor scale. Let's start with E minor. The minor scale is step, half step, 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 half step, step, step. So this is my minor chord. See what I will do here. My E minor scale, it has seven keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I will do, I will delete the last one. And I will select all of this. I copy it. Common C. I paste it again. Common V. I will click on shift and arrow up. So I took the same notes, but copy of it, octave up. Again, I will do this by select all of this. Copy, paste, octave, down. Shift, arrow down. I will click fold. Now I have E octave from the middle and octave up and octave down. Okay, guys, this is my, I will call this E minor. Now, guys, I will move here to another clip, another, another MIDI clip, this one, and I will do F major. So, this one step step half step 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 half step so this is my f major one two three four five six seven i will delete this one the eighth because it's the same f3 but one but, but uh, one octave up so i will select all of this copy paste shift arrow up again i will select all this copy paste shift arrow down i click fold let's back to e minor now to find any chord inside your e minor scale you will go to root note this is my root note e i will take this number one we call this the first note then i will take the third note of the scale and the fifth note this is my first chord inside E minor scale we call this a triad chord I will duplicate it and take it up duplicate up duplicate up duplicate up duplicate up and duplicate up see I ended up here this is the last note in my scale it's D this is D you can see here D then after it I will back to C4 so which is mean the scale has seven notes and each note can be a chord. So that's mean I will end up with the seven chords. Okay, guys, check now to understand why I teach you this zero, three, seven and zero, four, seven. Let starting by the first chord, we call this the root chord because if you play a note and you end up your notes, with one of these notes, your, ro your, ro your root note uh, chord, you will end up the sentence. We call it music. It's all about questions and answers. So if you play any note and you you're end, you're end up playing your melody with one of your first chord, one of the note that's in the first chord, you will end up the, the sentence. Back to our chords. This is my first chord. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, this is my first chord is a minor. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, why? We call this chord diminished. So most of the time I don't use diminished chord. So I turn it off by clicking 0. Then moving on, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, wow. This is a major chord. What does that mean? That mean a minor scale
can has a major chord and a minor chords in the same time. Yes. And moving on, see here, this is minor, minor, major, major. So we have one, two, three. We have three major chords and one, two, three minor chords and one diminished. Let's try this on major. This is F, F major scale. Let's go to F major, the first note, the third, the fifth. Put this, duplicate seven times. Now, take the fold off and see. The first chord is, as you can see, major. The second chord is a minor. So even though the major scale can has a minor chords and the major chords, and the last one here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, diminished. So shortcut story about all what we got here, guys. Octave with 12 keys and any of these keys can be a major or a minor scale. Then a scales, each scale got seven keys. Each one of these keys can be a major chord or a minor chord. Moving on, let's try to apply this in our production. Let's say here I have a simple only kick. And now I want to make a bass line for this kick. Uh, let's say I want to, to produce a song in uh, F minor. So I will apply my F minor uh, rule. I put up my root note F, then tone, semitone, tone, tone, semitone, tone, tone, tone. That's it. So to have more space to play around with the melodies up and downs and go octave up or octave down what i will do from the beginning i will delete the eighth note select copy paste shift up again copy paste shift down i click fold now after all of that when you click fold you can see here if you play it you will play everything so why why did i do that to select all the notes and click arrow back in this case what will happen i took these notes octave up or octave down to lead me in a right way it's the same concept of Ableton Push when you click on the scale and choose your scale and you start playing around with the pads here without doing any mistakes. So imagine this here inside Ableton, you are doing writing notes here around around here and there and there. So all of that you are playing notes inside your scale. But before that, we were talking at the beginning about dark feeling what makes the track sounds dark to show you this i will take only one octave and i paste it here just to show you what's the secret to make your track sounds dark what you will do first you will play the first note the third the fourth the fifth and the sixth most of the time you will keep playing with these notes. If you played the seventh and the second, especially the seventh, it will be different. So we avoiding playing the second note and especially the seventh note will gives you your song that dark feeling. So I applied this to my production. I said the first the second i don't want okay third fourth fifth sixth seventh and this so g and d sharp g and d sharp g and d sharp 
now I got the idea so I have the ability to play with these notes now starting with the bass line sure if I want to make a bass line I need to play under the third octave which is mean I will start with F2 and start to create something here okay not bad that's not bad but I feel it's still a little bit sounds blocky so what I will do I will click on the F here and the click shift arrow down let's listen how it will sounds one more octave down okay that's what I want now I will take this clip copy and I will go down here I paste it to create what to create a bad sound as I said, to create a pad, I will take this clip and I will create a chord. So the first note, the third, and the fifth. And I will avoid, sorry, the fifth here. Okay one two three four five yes i will put the the full one two three four five six and seven here we go now what i will do see as you can see here zero one two three four five six seven zero one two three four five six seven so this is minor zero one two three four five six so this is diminished i will not use it zero one two three four five six seven so this is major i will not use it and this is minor minor major major so to keep my track a little bit dark i will avoid the major this one and this one and this one and i will avoid the diminished so what i will do i will pick up these chords the minor chords and i will take the first one i put it at the end now when you listen to it that's nice so now it's a time to be creative and play around with your notes that's inside your chord which is mean you feel like there is a big jump between this uh, from this chord to this chord what you will do to make it a little bit sounds close to each other I will take this F I click shift arrow down and I click this shift arrow down now they are close to each other and that's it now to create your melody take this clip paste it down and now what you will do delete this all and you have your lead here your melodies this is how you start playing around let's start with F now we go to this note then here then there see guys I'm avoiding these notes And that's it. I start creating my own melodies. I ended up with a bass line, bad sound, and melody. It's so easy. Moving on to our percussions. How this will hel help us in our per percussions. What I will do, it's a, something very simple. If you are playing a song in 
F minor. So you will start adding percussions and samples and different things. Let's add a sample here, a wood sample like this. Okay, this one. What I will do, I will go to audio effects. I will pick up spectrum and tuner. Then I will create. So when you put a sample to hear it as it, just start with a C, C3, the middle C. Let's back here to our spectrum. I click on 16 and I move this down and I open the frequency chart. Check at the frequency chart here. When you move around, check the blue box. The frequency is changing and the notes are changing too. G2, F2, D2. Play around now. Go to the peak time. You see, it's peaking on A sharp. A sharp, when you go to your piano roll, this is A sharp. Sorry guys. This is A sharp. But when you go to check the tuner, it's giving you B flat. Remember guys, as I said, B flat is same A sharp. So, what I said before, like we are playing a F minor song. So F minor, let's back and draw, draw our F minor. Tone, 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 tone semitone, tone, tone semitone tone tone so the first question that will come to my mind is a sharp one of f minor scale yeah it is so i will keep it what if was not in my scale what i will do i will go here to transpose it but check here this is a sharp how many semitones i i will go up to reach F, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven semitones. And how many semitones I will go down to reach F, one, two, three, four, five. So, check this. When I go here to the sample, you go to control, check here, transpose semitone. If you go up seven semitones, It's F now. If you go minus 5, it's giving you F. Okay? And that's it. And you can keep it as it. Because A sharp, it's a one note from the F minor scale. But there is something here. After I transpose it, it's, it's giving me that it's a F. But there is something wrong. Why? this circle it's not in the middle here that what we call it detune which is mean it's right if but it's a little bit out of tune how do we solve this the next one here detune so what I will do I will increase this up see now it's if exactly so how do we know how how do we know like I need to go up 29 or go down just put a tuner and try to tune your sample now it's exactly F that's it guys this is how you apply this simple basic music theory to your production just understand how you find your skills how you create your chords and that's all if you have any question guys just leave it down below in the comment 
or send me email or even try to contact me on my social medias I'll keep it down in the description and anything you need just let me know that's all and don't forget please guys subscribe and share enjoy thank you Thank you.